Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emanuel, I'm an Abbas pilot and in today's video I just want to present you with a lovely addition to our Phoenix A320 that I literally just found out about. Now you have probably spotted it already, we've got the old school CRT displays in our A320 right over here. And this is a mod available from Hughes by Horizon, which is available to repainters who can then build it into their repaints. So you cannot just download it separately, but you actually can only download it as part of a livery and then it will be all completed for you. So no fiddling around and only available on certain liveries. Now, the livery we're sitting in here today is an Iberia livery and I can really recommend you to check that one out. It's available on flatland.to and it is really a gorgeously done livery. We'll get into a couple more details in a few moments as well, but just to give you an overview, this is the one that we're sitting in here. Iberia Echo Charlie India Echo Foxtrot from Rem 13, which is a beautiful done livery, and I'm going to link it in the video description below. Now, I would probably never have thought that I would ever do a video dedicated to a certain livery, but this one is really worth mentioning, as it not only features an awesome looking cockpit with the EIS-1 displays, but he's also gone ahead and inserted custom items in the cabin here, like for the business class seats, special polsters, and even the uh, divider in the uh, cabin up here. So really an awesome livery, and together with the cabin sound set from the um, cabin announcement discord, it really gives you an awesome Iberia experience. Now, let's quickly talk about a couple of the details that we have available in the um, cockpit. Now, as I mentioned, this is a mod incorporating the look of the EIS-1 displays, so the old cathode ray tubes upon which the A320 was delivered in between its first delivery and the delivery um, in 2003, which was the final version. So, after 2003, the new LCD displays were delivered and are in delivery ever since. Now, there are a couple of differences that are really worth mentioning here. The first one we'll see when we just take a normal seating position up here, and you will notice that the CRTs are rather dark compared to the standard LCD displays. Now, that is indeed an actual feature and not a bug. So the actual CRT displays on the real Airbus were really dark and in some cases even so dark that pilots would take off their sunglasses because they just couldn't read the displays anymore. Now, this was not the main reason why they've been replaced with the LCD displays. The main reason was actually that they broke comparably often. So you had display failures comparably often with those displays and they also, since they incorporated some very high voltage, had a chance of going up in smoke, and obviously that is something that you really want to avoid on a cockpit. But those were a couple of the reasons why they have been dis uh, replaced in 2003. Now, talking about the mod themselves, you can nicely see the uh, curvature of the screen over here, even though you can also see that behind the actual display is still in the um, 2D LCD version that you got with the original Phoenix. The reason behind is that this mod puts a 3D model on top of the existing Phoenix displays as they cannot change the actual displays themselves. But just have a look at the detailing that you've got on the actual glass over here, which gives it a really nice CRT effect to it. Now, there is one thing that is worth mentioning with those CRT displays. And that is the fact that the CRTs also came with the so-called Electronic Instrument System 1, EIS-1. And the EIS-1s were different from the EIS-2 that we've modeled in Phoenix. Notably, all the screens, or the display indications, I should say, were a little bit smaller, since as you can see over here, some parts of the um, edges of the displays are cut off. You can nicely see that here on the fuel on board, you can see it up here on the ground speed. You can also see it when you start the timer down here where the first number is somewhat cut off because obviously these do feature the original size of the CRT screens. So the size of the screens are a little bit cut off, but it's not too bad in my opinion, it is still an okay promise to use. Now, 
The major difference that you will see though is the engine warning display. This has a different layout in the EIS-1 where you've got the engine instruments on the left and you got the flaps and the fuel and stuff like that on the right. So slightly different layout but since this is only a visual mod you do still have the EIS-2 engine displays in this mod. Nonetheless, if you ask me, if you just have a look at the plane like this, it really gives you a neat different feeling of flying it. It gives you a feeling of flying that old school A320, which is really nice. Now, contributing to that is also the way how the FCU has been redesigned over here. You can see that the background color of the FCU is a lot more red than it is on the newer and standard Phoenix Airbuses. And the reason behind that is that back in the EIS one days, the FCU actually looked like this. So really neat little uh, feature that we do have available in here as well. So as mentioned, I am going to link the uh, livery in the video description below. If you go on flatland.to and search for Phoenix EIS-1 or just EIS-1, that's Echo India Sierra 1, then you are going to find a couple of liveries. And in order for a repainter to be able to incorporate this mod in their livery, they need to get in contact with um, Hughes by Horizon directly in order to um, get permission to use it. So you cannot just use it without permission. The painters have to contact them. But looking at the speed at which liveries are becoming available now, by now they're, at the time of this recording there's three. There will probably be more in the um, closer future. I am rather positive that we are going to see quite a couple of... Um, additional liveries using these displays. Now, what is really worth mentioning here is that the CRT displays go really nicely with the outside model of the Phoenix as well. As you can see right now, since we still don't have the sharklets available and only the old wingtip fences, the um, old CRT screens go really nicely with that. Now, it would be neat if there was a model without wingtip fences completely, as indeed some of the first A320s didn't have them at all. But, well, I'd rather take sharklets than a non-wingtip fence model. Alright, so, this much about what I can say on this, vid on this video. Now, as I mentioned, if you are looking for a really good Iberia experience, first of all, they do fly a couple of lovely short routes. I'm probably going to post a video um, featuring one of those in the sooner future. But it also gives you a really neat different feeling on the A320 and personally I can look over the differences in the engine warning display up here. So with all of that I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. Hope that you enjoyed this one. If you did be sure to let me know in the comments below. I'm very much looking forward to your feedback and with that I'd like to say thank you very much. Be sure to check out the livery in the link beneath the video as it is really worth it and also be sure to add the custom cabin announcements that you can get on the Phoenix cabin announcement discord for the respective livery that you're using as that really makes it a complete experience. So I'd like to say thank you very much for watching everyone. Hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you're up for more. And finally if you really like this livery then I would suggest to go on to the page of Rem13 on flightsim.to where you can download it and consider a donation to him and of course a donation to Hughes by Horizon as well as they are the ones who created the EIS-1 mod. Overall, great job and I'm really looking forward to do a couple of flights with this now. Thank you for watching and I see you all again on the next one.